What's up, everyone? This is Max Ritt. Today, we're talking about the difference between sidechain and parallel compression. So what is sidechain compression? With sidechain compression, you can control the effect of one instrument by the volume of another instrument. For example, the pulsing bass effect you might hear on a dance or EDM track that allows the kick drum to cut through the whole mix. You can also use sidechain compression to bring out other elements such as vocals or guitars. So what is parallel compression? Parallel compression works differently. This type of compression blends the original dry signal of a channel with the compressed version of itself. In order to show you examples of both sidechain and parallel compression, I created a dance track type of beat that we'll be using to demonstrate. Let's listen. In Cubase, we can simply add a compressor to the instrument we're applying the sidechain to. We're going to apply the sidechain to this bass. We're simply going to insert the stock Cubase compressor right on the track. We can bypass it for now, and we also have the ability to select our sidechain input. So once we click here, we can select the kick as our input. We can also select the amount of volume control or whether we want it pre or post fader. So let's meet the rest of the tracks and now we can hear the kick and the bass without the compressor in effect. Okay, we'll take the compressor off bypass. Now we can adjust some of the settings. We'll adjust the ratio, the attack, the release, and also the makeup gain. We'll play the track and make some adjustments while we are listening to it. You can definitely tell a difference, but now we're going to listen to it with all the other elements unmuted. Let's see. Now I'm going to show you parallel compression. We're going to add parallel compression to this bass. One way to do it is to simply duplicate the track and then add a compressor right on that track. We'll use the same stock plugin that we did before. We'll make some tweaks here to the adjustments. Now with this method, I don't have to bypass the compressor because we're going to bring the fader down to zero. We then bring it up as our track is playing and we'll make an adjustments as we listen. Let's meet all these other tracks and take a listen. In our next example, we're going to apply parallel compression to a drum bus. 
we're going to focus on our tops and our hats. Let's listen. We're actually going to create a group track and we're going to use sends along with our drum track and use parallel compression that way. We're going to name it Compressor Drum Aux. Once we add the track, now we can add our compressor directly on that track. And we'll use the same stock Cubase compressor that we used in the other examples. We can apply some basic settings, but we're definitely going to listen as we make adjustments. We can unmute the rest of the tracks. Now, if you notice here, my tops and my hats are both routed to my drum aux. So we're going to use the drum aux track and apply the sense to that one. So we can open up the insert for sense. And on our drum aux, we can open it up and we can select the compressed drum aux that we created earlier. We activate the send, and we realize that it's blue. Blue stands for a pre-fader effect, and orange is for a post-fader effect. We'll leave it as a pre-fader effect for now. And now we can bypass that track, and we can hear it before we apply any compression effect. Let's hear it. We'll make it a post fader effect and see if there's a difference. Okay, so we can unmute the other tracks and we can hear everything as a whole. We'll start it with it bypass and then we'll take it off as we listen. That's all I have for today. I hope you found this information useful on when to use sidechain and parallel compression. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment for any video ideas you might have. Thank you. <laughs>